Valentino is the last great couturier of the 20th century. Most of them are no longer with us. He's always been incredibly deferent, not only to the traditions of couture, but what stands for beauty and refinement in dress in relation to how it is worn by a woman. That's something quite unique, and it's the mark of great sensitivity. My name's Alastair O'Neill, and I'm one of the co-curators for the forthcoming exhibition, Valentino, Master of Couture at Somerset House. The two other curators, um, Patrick Kinmouth and Antonio Monfreda, they're also the exhibition designers for this project. Our role collectively in curating this project has been to work with Valentino SPA, the company, also Mr. Valentino and uh, Mr. Giametti in realising this as a temporary exhibition. So that's involved us researching in the, the two Valentino archive sites. Mr. Valentino had an understanding that we were starting to stage significant fashion exhibitions here. I think with the arrival of British Fashion Week at Somerset House has further cemented the connection between Somerset House as, a, as an arts and commerce space and the idea of, of, of fashion in cultural and historical terms as much as in, in commercial terms. So they thought that it was the right setting uh, for them. The 130 couture outfits are arriving on the 5th of November. The mannequins arrive a few days before. What we're also um, currently receiving is a lot of the kind of paper-based materials that we've selected from the archive. It's not just about press cuttings, it's also about um, correspondence, personal photography. Much of it's not been seen in public before, so it offers a really rare glimpse into the, the world of Mr. Valentino and a world of Italian couture. Couture refers to a system of making clothes that um, doesn't rely upon machines in any way. So everything is handmade. The distinction that we, we use today is, is between couture and uh, press-a-porter or ready-to-wear. There are certain techniques that can be involved in the making of couture outfits which are highly specialised, they're generally labour-intensive and they produce spectacular results. We very much hope that the exhibition will be able to educate people as to the great contribution that Valentino has made to the definition of 20th century couture. Um, and we also hope that we can unpack some of the specialised um, couture techniques that underpin some of these amazing outfits that we're going to be showing. Valentino, um First of all, for me, it represents pure beauty. What it's uh, always been uh, a constant thing he does, it's uh, elegance. Beauty it is always contemporary. My name is Antonio Monfreda. I'm uh, co-curating this uh, fantastic show at Somerset House for uh, Valentino with Patrick Kinmons and Alice Aronier. Always it's uh, the space that gives you some uh, ideas immediately. You've got this long gallery, both Patrick and I, we said, oh my God, this is really a catwalk. And then we said, why don't we do a catwalk? My name is Richard Greenwood and I'm the project manager on the exhibition. So the, the total length of the catwalk is 52 metres. That's quite a, quite a special, it makes you feel quite elevated and, and, and kind of quite in touch with it all, I think. We, we decided to have different colours of mannequins to, for decade. So basically, if you are, the spectator will be really helped because if you're looking at a green mannequin, you know that the dress belongs to the 50s. Where the guys are stood at the moment are the, the, the doors to the um, Valentino studio in Italy that have been reproduced. And we're sort of just glimpsing into the, the chapel room and we can see the, the red fabric. And the red fabric that uh, was chosen is the same fabric that they use for the military um, tunics. Sort of beautiful red, scarlet red. On the far west wall is going to be the rose projection 
Um, to the left and the right are two very large projectors. They're basically going to project onto this three-dimensional rose. It's a steel frame with a, with a wire petal, and the actual rose itself is about five metres diameter. So it's going to be pretty big. Effectively, that'll be a sort of a, a rolling kind of projection that'll kind of scroll through each of the, the pieces. In the final sort of bit of the installation, um, Mr. Valentino will obviously come along and want to, uh, to sign it off. So uh, fingers crossed, um, we're in good shape at the moment. I do believe that fashion is an expression of uh, art. And so I think that uh, fashion should find his proper uh, place uh, in a museum. I hope that they will take away a great sense of uh, beauty that Valentino always gives. You will see how much work there is behind a couture uh, outfit, a couture dress. How many hours people are working to build up something so spectacular. And also you will bring away this sense of beauty that Al Valentino always gives. Well, Valentino is an extraordinarily instinctive person. He sees and he likes or he doesn't like. But actually, these are probably amongst the most sophisticated clothes that have ever been made by human hands. I'm Patrick Kinmont. Uh, I'm one of the show's curators and uh, co-designer with Antonio Monfeder of the show. It's tremendously exciting to see this work come together, of course, because we've been working on this show for two years in terms of theory, practice, design, curation, uh, restoration of the clothes, organisation. I mean, hundreds of people are involved with a project like this. We've tried to make it as alive as we possibly can, which is always an issue with presenting clothes in a historical context. You're stuck with the perennial problem of the mannequin, which is that the clothes really have lived on the bodies of some of the most beautiful people in the world. It's tremendously rewarding to work in, in historic buildings with fantastic material. How could it not be? You know, it's wonderful. The thing about Valentino is that, you know, as we saw in the wonderful film, The Last Emperor, you know, he, he lives a charmed life. And uh, that he's almost like a lens for uh, the possibility of doing things at the highest possible level. On he walked through the exhibition, and where on each dress, I mean, if, if the veil is on, on, a, on, a, on a seam which is crossing the body, if the chiffon should be turning in and not out, he just immediately is there with his fingers and he just turns it round and suddenly the line is more elegant. I mean, this is the eye of Valentino. I think, for me, Valentino, I associate him with leaving no stone unturned, working unbelievably hard, and then making it look as if it was completely effortless. And he's taught me something about the highest quality and how you get it. I think he definitely was the man who kind of originated the idea of the jet set dressing. And he was the original jet set couturier. I think his approach is just unique. But the curious thing is that you can look at a dress in the Valentino exhibition and you think, gosh, how modern. Then you look at your little catalogue and you see that it was 1969 or 1975. Totally timeless. Valentino's always been an excellent personal friend to me. So the first thing I'd always say for him, I think, is friendship. But after that, I'd just say just epitomizing elegance and glamour and timelessness in a way that I don't think anybody Certainly nobody yet is rivaling him in that. Maybe they never will, we'll have to wait and see. I don't show it, but you know, I am so happy to be in this museum that I, I have seen many, many times before to my visit in London, but this time to see all my clothes through the decade that I did, to see it in that room, long, so long, 60 meters long, to see all, the, all those dresses, I feel quite, uh, I am very, I am full of emotion.